The Raven's Flock presents The Black Files, an uncensored interview and review podcast for all geek fandom. Welcome everybody, friends and pals, guys and gals, boys and girls around the world, pop a squat, pop open a cold one with your boys. It is Monday, and we're in a brand new week. You're in the, we're only what, one week away from our next biggest event here with us at MetroCon. Oh yes. And that being said, you are listening in to a brand new episode of The Black Files. All right, all right. We are one week away from one of the biggest conventions in the state of Florida. However, this cannot wait. Oh no, or rather this cannot continue. No, it can't. Thank this you, everybody, for joining us once more. It is a pleasure to have you all here. Uh, the usual suspects are gathered today. I, yeah. Dude, I said give me the intro. Chill your ass. Where are the suspects, Whoops. Angel? Angel, dude, where are the suspects? Uh, fact off. Let's start Do we with have you. a video game console in front of us? Yes. Are we playing the video game console? In my mind. <laughs> In my heart, <laughs> you know what? While Angel is in stuck in his, head. you know what? While he's stuck in his wishful thinking, Juan, continue. Yes, go ahead, right. go ahead. Thank you very much for listening in to the uncensored interview and review podcast of the Ravens Flock, The Black Files. I am your host, Juan Arouse, one of the heads of the Ravens Flock, and I got the other two heads. One of which is in the clouds, and the other which is fuming over here. I've got to my right the host of Los Amigos Play, Angel Mendez. Always happy to be, and never happy to stay. <laughs> What the fuck? I don't even know what that means. Well, I just broke the... Yeah. And ah, get, shit! Barriers are being broken right now! Yeah, and on my left, I've got the head of the Raven's Flock himself, as Acast Bona. Hang on a minute. You haven't really broken the barrier until you hear me say it. Well, I already said fuck. Oh, shit. As you can tell, our beloved and estimated leader appears to be somewhat emotionally compromised by the recent events that we will be talking about today. Uh, well, and you didn't you and didn't you tell me, hey, don't scream into the microphone? I had to uh, dial the dial down f- to accommodate that fuck. I already broke the fuck barrier. And well, this- see, you broke the barrier. He put it on a bus and then he drove to the wall. I put it on. I, dr- I I rode on the bus. I drove through the barrier and I hit reverse. Why would you do that to Why the poor you- barrier? So that you can run through it again. Just defile All right. the corpse. Jesus. All right, go we're on. we're we're we we got to get this going over here, man. On this episode of the of the Black Files, we're actually covering uh, some current events here because we're not just geeks in front of a camera. We're not just gamers. We are primarily YouTubers, and this uh, controversy has rocked the YouTube community for the better part of about two, three weeks now. Three weeks. Yeah, three fucking weeks. We're going to be discussing the controversy and the aftermath of the event known as TanaCon. Yeah, you're probably thinking, what are these assholes in Florida worrying about what assholes in California are doing? Well, we're all asshole YouTubers. And uh, the creator of this beautiful piece of schadenfreude that's given Angel uh, the worst flush blush effect in his pants ever... (sighs) Dude, I don't even want to know. If my sadism lasts for longer than three hours, don't consult a doctor. This is exactly what it's supposed to be doing. You it's are, not a bug. It's a feature. You are horrible. Go yes, on. I am. More importantly, though, we may be gigantic assholes with barely any filter and less self-control, but ultimately, despite what popular belief may say, we care about the con community. And stepping into the serious shoes for a moment, this is a serious blow to the con, con community. Because this job was really bad. It was so bad it blowed. In essence, this was the worst blowjob the con community has ever received. This was Wait. the worst blowjob. No, no, that's no, exactly what I meant to say. <laughs> All right, before we go any further, we I got to give our usual spiel. Shoot. This is an uncensored interview and review podcast. That means that if we discuss anything uh, in pop culture, we will be discussing it spoilerifically. We will have spoilers. Um, we will discuss things and we will swear like crazy. As you know, we broke the fuck barrier. Jose had Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock ride it on a bus and they ran over 50 miles an hour. So oh. he destroyed it. Yeah. Um, so we will be swearing because we're not going to 
uh, restrain our emotion on this shit because as they didn't, so why should anyone else? And <laughs> we will also be expressing opinions that may or may not clash with your worldview or with your way of thinking or your way of life. If any of this is too much for your fragile sensibilities, go ahead and tune out now. Otherwise, we invite you to open your minds, your hearts, your souls, your power, your space, your time, and your reality to us. I mean, you'd have to be incredibly stupid to argue or disagree with what we're about to say. No, you just have to have an opinion that's different than ours. And it may or may not necessarily be stupid, but we're not going to lie. We're, we're, we're pretty much basing our feelings about this shit on logic. And so, fact. Something that uh, the folks organizing TanaCon did not have. Boy, I'm sorry. Oh boy. No, don't have to be. Technically, uh, one of response. Start us right. off on the story, Juan. So let's begin with the basics. He said what Juan, ex- but yeah. What exactly is Tan? Or rather, what was Tanacon supposed to be before the bombs dropped and everyone died? Dude, there weren't actually bombs, but I know what you mean. You're metaphorically talking metaphorically speaking. That was like a Hiroshima going off right after Nagasaki. Just like how I metaphorically killed Star Wars fans when I sl- uh, when I killed a Palmetto bug that got into the house. Just the same well, way toxic Star Wars, Star Wars keeps killing itself. No, uh, I mean toxic Star Wars fans. We'll get to that another time. <laughs> That'll be so. What was Tanakon supposed okay, to be? Okay, so now, um, for those of you who do not know anything about YouTube, apparently there's some people out there who don't. What do you um, say? There is, yeah, there is a YouTube celebrity by the name of Tana Mojo. That's and how you it, say it. Yeah, apparently that's how you pronounce her last name. It is spelled M O N G E A U. Well, so I'm thinking Manjo or Manjo or whatever. So, I'm but I, Manju, and I'm like, is that a dish? Ma, ma, Do you? Eat? I thought that was a fake name, Mojo. No, me too. It's pronounced Mojo. Well, apparently, there we have it. Fine, it's pronounced whatever. Mojo. It's, I don't on. know. And I don't she's a YouTuber. <laughs> yep, she's a YouTuber, and she specializes in vlogging and doing racy videos about like controversial topics and. One of the things that we deign to ever acknowledge over here on the Ravens block, YouTube drama. Yep. She is known for doing such things as releasing rap videos with Bella Thorne, having odd play-by-plays of people having sex. <laughs> yeah, all sorts of shit. And once again, proving that we are old, old as shit and out of touch with the young generation, somehow this managed to accrue millions of subscribers. How many millions does she have like at this point? Like three or so. Like three million subscribers. That's a lot of people. And guess how old she is. She's just turned 20. So, hey, props to her. You found a niche and you exploited that shit real good. Even the youngest member of the Raven's flock is older than this kid. Yep. Mother of God. So, as we know, Tana apparently has made several appearances on the con known as VidCon, correct? Yes. It is a giant convention. And for those of you who don't know, VidCon is uh, a YouTuber convention that takes place in Anaheim, California. It's been going on for years, and it's basically, you know, hey, meet your favorite YouTubers, and they're going to have workshops and panels, and there will be other events, and merchandising. Merchandising! Hey, uh, the real money at the movie gets made. I'm Gotta s- pay them bills. I'm quoting Mel Brooks. What the hell is wrong with me? Capish. You th- do you not know who Mel Brooks is? I do you not watch Spaceballs? Of course I watch Spaceballs. Then how did you not catch that reference? Because I'm surrounded by assholes. <laughs> okay, he got us. Good he save. Got us. Good, Good save. save. Now, <laughs> apparently, um, the way this whole story started was apparently, uh, uh, what was it? Last year, Tana Mojo had gone uh, as a uh, featured guest at VidCon several and, times, apparently. And apparently, uh, due to her having you know millions of subscribers, she wanted to try and be featured a little more prominently and promote the convention and. You know, try to get tit for tat, you know, she as I know. Well, not treatment. getting three million subscribers isn't enough for her. Apparently, Apparently not. It wasn't enough for them either because, for whatever reason, they refused to consistently give her the VIP top billing treatment that she ever so desired. And shit got ugly around that point. Apparently, she started some sort of ruckus in the convention hall um, in the middle of the convention center over in Anaheim. And she was asked by security to leave. And she said that they were being so hardful and so uh, rough and mean and out there they. And she put out an 80 minute long rant video. It's like one of our rants, except, you know, you got a pretty blonde face to look at. You know, we're not all that. Because we, we don't have tits. So it's automatically no, better than anything. Three men we, do not. So it's automatically better than anything we ever did or will ever make. Yeah, likely. Yeah. Also, I mean, I've, was, I've got moves. I've got a, man it boobs. It was hilariously like I saw some of that video actually on my way here. It was a very hilarious. I don't know how they do it, but these people have taken the power of passive aggressiveness and elevated it to a form of art. Because that was an entire Eddie Media video oh. of her going, "Look at how much I don't care about this." 
Oh my god. So long story short, uh, because of what happened, like I said, we don't have the details, but what whatever fuck we managed to scrounge is she wanted to be on top of the VIP chain. They said no. She started shit. She got kicked out. So Not she only did she get kicked out, she got banned. She got banned from VidCon. She banned got for given life. The ban hammer. And that's what happens when you let your ego go straight to your head. Oh, no. no. That's not what happens. This is what happens when you let your ego straight get the best of your head. You know what? Screw you guys. I'm going to start my own cone with blackjack and hookers. In you fact, know what? Screw the, the whole con. thing. And, and no. that's exactly what they did. You think and I'm joking, but no. And her ego blimp goes so fucking high. I'm sorry. Okay, so... Have you ever heard the tale of the Hindenburg? The Hindenburg? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Good things are going to happen right now. <laughs> no! One, continue. What? Buckle up, boys. It's about to get real in All here. Right. Okay, so. so after getting banned from VidCon, what happens next in this uh, tale? So, Tana has app- had apparently decided, I'm going to create my own convention, and I want it to be more... a co- uh, it, like In her words, she wanted it to, uh, to be more fan-centric, more... Uh, inclusive to the small YouTubers, to the little guys, to the, to the the folks who you know put their time and effort to uh, give patronage to uh, you know, YouTubers, and she basically said, "I'm going to invite some of the better known." YouTube uh, content creators out there and have them be a part of my convention instead. Now, keep in mind, folks, for those of you who are listening, and you guys can correct me on this. All of this. It's all coming from the woman who's basically made a living out of uh, producing all these crazy ass trashy videos that has earned her millions of subscribers on YouTube. I wouldn't say trashy, just drama, like drama, whatever, whatever. What, it, what is that? What is drama if not trash? What? It, yeah, exactly. Wow, we're gonna get the everyone's gonna is, kill us for this. Oh, yeah, please, no, no, no. they couldn't kill us any harder. Keep in mind, what the point I'm trying to make is that everything that's going to happen in this tale, narrated by Juan, yep. it's all coming from her. This is actually all, co- like, th- this all stems from, like, this already is a first mistake. You don't go into a business venture out of space. Bite. And that's what a convention is. It is a business venture. You are trying to generate revenue by offering an event, a service where fans of certain performers or entertainers uh, pay money or in her case, she wanted it to be free with one only one level above that to be VIP or whatever. And they would provide the service of you get to meet favorite YouTubers. You get to interact with them. You get to have meet and greets. You get to have panels. You get to go into a merchandising booth, uh, whatever. Uh, that was that was a bad voice. Okay, merchandising. Yeah. yeah. Stop Joey Mel- Wheeler. Stop okay. Mel Brooksing. Stop what? Mel Brooksing, man. Are you sure Mel Brooks? You're just jumping to Sicilian land all of a sudden. Dude, just... Mel Brooks would be disappointed. What's wrong with you? Mo- do you want him to blow you up with fucking Spaceball 1? To be fair, though, and do quote me if I'm wrong, the Lamborghini brand of cars was made out of spite. What? Oh, yeah, no. Okay, the guy who invented Lamborghini was a tractor farmer. Yep. Who actually met the dude who made either Porsche or another famous car brand, and he basically told him your cars are shit. And the guy essentially looked <laughs> at him and went, "Well, you are well, you are just a tractor farmer, so fuck off and do your own." So that tractor farmer, out of spite, created the entire Lamborghini brand of cars <laughs> just to compete with that guy. So, well, to be fair, you can succeed if you go into a into a business out of spite. But how long did it take for uh, Lamborghini to get started and get going? I oh, don't wow, know. I would imagine, but considering that this is the only case I know of successful spite business making. I wouldn't like recommend it as a strategy for the future. Let me yeah, put this- I was gonna, I was gonna say, yeah, it probably works, but those are probably like what few in between, few far, in far, far, far in between, very far, and very far in between. And so. of course, I'm guessing the guy who created Lamborghinis, he took his time, he got his shit together, and he began competing directly with Porsche after yes. a after several the, years of planning and preparation. Some, yeah, of course. I mean, right, right, guess right, how much planning and preparation went into Tanacon? Two years? No. Two months. Two fucking months. Wait, what? Yep. This girl went from her 80 minute long pipe bomb announcement video of I'm going to make my own convention to scheduling the event and specifically doing so in the same weekend of VidCon. Two months. Two months. Actively doing this just to spite them. 
Just if I fighting. recall, the so-called Tarakon was going to happen right in front of the location where Bitcoin was going to take place as well. Roughly two blocks away, if I rem- if I looked at the map Which correctly. Which might as well be like putting a giant sign shaped like your middle finger and setting it on fire. You know the old Lewis Black joke of I'm going uh, I'm, I have a vision. I'm going to build a Starbucks across from a Starbucks. Why would you do that, Daddy? <laughs> because then it'll be the end of the universe, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> now. Oh, Ima- Lewis. Imagine, yeah, no, Lewis Black is a national treasure, and it'll be a terrible day if and when we ever lose him. But Tana Mojo came from an emotional state of anger, spite, bitterness, whatever, and upset, you know, be, being upset. And she's decided to go into a fucking business venture with that. There is no way that automatically is destined for disaster now if she had gone and said you know what i will build this up and i'm announcing this and it's going to come out in 2019 you know something that would actually be have actually had a chance of succeeding yeah that might have actually fucking succeeded but not two months no fucking way not Not a chance in hell so what she wound up doing is that she got together with uh a gentleman by the name of michael weist who runs an entertainment promotion company called Good Times. Because after all, she can't do everything by herself. Exactly. She does not know how to run a convention. She does not know how conventions work. She does not know how... To network. No, no, she's networked like crazy. No, Joseph, listen, listen. She has sponsorship deals like nobody's business. She's connected with people on YouTube. She's connected with uh, with uh, different like talent uh, companies. Oh, yeah. And yet she got banned from VidCon. Oh, trust me, this channel is getting <laughs> taken down the second we post this. <laughs> and yet she got banned from VidCon before but, this disaster. Man, I'm guessing the VidCon standards must be impossibly high. No, no, <laughs> she it's not. set herself up for that. All right, no, like no, check this out. Okay, no, so no. no, it's not networking. Is she does not know how to run the business end of that. She is coming up with an idea, and she went to someone who uh, she had gotten from reliable sources that this guy had run concerts, and he had run different uh, live events over the years, and um, he wanted to go into business with her, and that he specifically said, hey, if you're going to go ahead and do this convention thing, I want in. I can help you get set up with a venue. I can help you get set up with ticketing. I can help you get set up with the logistics, security, uh, you know, accommodations. The basic uh, stuff. You know, the business end of a convention. And how long has this guy, Michael Weiss, been doing this stuff for? Uh, it's four years. Four years. Also, he's like 21, so he started this at the age of 17. Mother if, that doesn't set up, if that doesn't set up several alarms ringing in the back of your head, well... Yeah, the tickets were free, but fans could purchase, and I can't believe they actually called them these They're- feature fucking creator tickets. <laughs> Either Michael Weiss must have been that brilliant while he was a teenager, because as Juan mentioned, he does have a history of hosting concerts and events, or I don't know, maybe he's he has the same level of delusions as Tana. Well, regardless, or both. Those tickets were sold out from. Both. Forty to sixty-five dollars that offer gift bags and okay. exclusive meet and greets with the creators. Here's what's up. It Monjo was... said that in Twitter they sold around five thousand tickets, give or take. Here's what's up. The free tickets were featured creator tickets, mm-hmm. and like you mentioned earlier, the VIPs were featured fucking creator. Which you really gotta be careful how you name <laughs> that because this is like I'm like, are you sure this is a con and not a fetish show? Uh, I don't know. I and mean, those were labeled at sixty five dollars flat. Yep. How much money was put into this uh, event? Well, we do see. not know the 5, actual five thousand people times sixty five. How much? Three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. So three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars were like the minimum estimate investment that was done from the side of the people who just wanted to see their favorite YouTubers in person. Now there, it was probably a little more than that, but oh no, there was more. There were people who flew all the way from Hawaii or something. Yep, other that, kids who flew in from Canada. Some people paid thousands of dollars for this event, and there was probably other expenses that the uh, organizers had to pay off too. Funny you mentioned. <laughs> Because <laughs> remember, you have to pay pe- guests for them to uh, show up. That is and correct. And you also have to pay the uh, the uh, the property owner of the venue for you know. In this case, it was the Marriott, uh, Marriott Hotel. Hotel and um, and you know conference center in Anaheim, California. The only spot that was literally two blocks away from fucking VidCon. Yes, because but- fuck you, VidCon. That's right. why. So, no, so no, obviously- her, in her words, if I may, fuck VidCon. Fuck anyone who created VidCon. Fuck VidCon. Like, 
Oh yeah, um, those, those are yeah, the words, that's business. Those are the words of a promising uh, uh, of a pro- uh, of a promising woman who wants to achieve her dream. Those are the words of a of an upcoming and aggrandizing entrepreneur, right there. All right, so okay. obviously between Tana and Mike, uh, Tana Mojo, I can't take that Mojo. Name seriously. Just say Mojo. Between Mojo, you think of Mojo Raleigh, the wrestler? Is no, no, I, I think of Mojo Jojo. Jojo. Oh, Je- yeah, <laughs> boy! Wow, I see wow, you two okay. are a man of culture. Okay, wow. Okay. So between <laughs> got me. So between Tana and Weiss, obviously they have a lot of hurdles to jump over in a span of two months. Now, the VIP 60 package, days. I want yep. you all to think real careful. How long does it take to set up one con in average? Uh, and, uh, uh, roughly a year before one it's... Year. So uh, roughly you need 12 months. Yeah. And she's trying to do this in what amounts to one-tenth of the time. Not one-tenth. A- a twelfth of the time. No, uh, a sixth of the time. A sixth basically. of the time with a relatively new new company to this kind of thing, with a relatively new person, with somebody who seems to have very little knowledge on how to run this kind of thing. It gets it gets crazier. We were talking about that, the VIP tickets. I'm going to hit on that real quick. Tana Mojo, in her run up to promoting the creation and debut of Tanacon, had said, "If you purchase the feature fucking creator VIP ticket, <laughs> you, it is." A sixty-five dollar ticket, but there it will include a gift bag and a goodie bag that is, in her own words, worth four times as much of the ticket. So pay sixty-five, get roughly two hundred and fifty back. To about two hundred, yeah, two hundred and forty, fifty, something like that. Yeah. Keep so what were the? So what was included with the bag, Juan? Well, the bag uh, no, had check, exactly no, three check, things. No, I, no, I've got you guys on this. No, what, what's supposed to be in there? Supposed um, to be. Supposed she. To be. The, uh, we saw that Tana Mojo had been. Um, speaking with uh, makeup companies and with uh-huh. t-shirt companies and with all sorts of different goodies uh, so that they could be included in like, you know, a little drawback backpack, like water bottles and stuff. She was also promoting that there would be food and water available for all these attendees. That was what so, was supposed to be there. That's, that's what's supposed to be in there. Now, allow me to rewind this back and activate the reality and Sue switch. You're, no, Angel, you are about to activate the reality stone. Go yep. for it. That's why I was going to hand... Reality stone. I was going to hand you the red uh, uh, microphone. So that... Because <laughs> that's red. But you've got the Go green on. one, so that's time. So. I just needed the time to set this up. Okay. So let me tell you this thing. <laughs> Those bags had exactly three things. The first one was a cell phone case. The second one was a handband. A wristband, sort of like mine. Like little like the one that one silicone right wristbands. Uh-huh. And the third one was condoms. Specifically branded Tana condoms. And let me tell you. There was also stickers. And stickers. But let's concentrate on the condoms. Because those <laughs> condoms. are the most appropriate thing to put in those bags. Because I will say this clearly. Everybody in there got fucked. So you better have protection kids. Reamed and painfully. Oh my God. Because on the 22nd, oh. the Tanacon opened its doors. All the fans were lumped together into the same line, regardless of what ticket they purchased. And that should have been problem number one right there. Now, during the whole process, and I've been watching the videos, I have been doing my homework. By once. which the by the videos that Jose is referring to, that means that the Monday after Tanacon, which was, what date was that? 22nd. N- June 22nd. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm trying right, to pick up my calendar. Me... I did. Are you right, sure? One fact. Oh, okay. June 22nd. I don't, I don't pull this thing no, out No, June 22nd ass. was the day of Tanacon. Yeah, I know. That was when it happened. You're yes, talking or I'm about talking about the Monday after. No, no. I was talking about the disaster as it took place immediately. That's okay. the important Well, part. that's not what I'm trying asking. to refer to something here, man. You're fast forward. He's so fast. No, I'm not. I'm trying to, because as he's jump skipping over here. Jose, button. Jose is uh, uh, after going, the event of give TanaCon. Me give me a minute. Yes. All right. Now, after the event of TanaCon hmm. occurred, um, <laughs> the Monday after, which <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just it's so so dude. After the event occurred uh, on the 25th of June. Um, Thank you. Uh, a, 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 uh, the, the the veteran YouTuber known as Shane Dawson, who is a 10-year YouTuber. He has done it all. He has seen it all. He has had his ups and downs. He's basically a grandpappy as far as YouTube is concerned. Uh, he began a what was to become a three-part documentary series try, and, and simply to answer a single question. What went wrong with TanaCon? And we're not taking everything yeah. as an answer. No, you no. need an actual explanation. Exactly. No, and as I was trying to say, you know, I've done my homework. Now, on that subject of all this marketing stuff, like all the, the, the gift bags and the tickets and everything, according to, or should I cover that later? L- let me get to that one. 
All right, because I know what we're leading up to. We have to tell what happened in TanaCon. Fine, was, go ahead, go ahead. Because Angel was talking about on the day of the 22nd, Friday, tw- uh, June 22nd. The then, let's stick to, then let's stick to the main story. Go on. All right, we'll, on we'll move along with this as it goes along. The main issue began the second we found out that every single person, regardless of what ticket was uh, they purchased, they were put on the same line. That's problem number one. And as the day went on, the line extended and extended and extended. And five hours later, people were baking in the sun, passing out from strokes and not being able to do a damn thing. And this was just outside of the con because guess what? The fame room, by the way, like 5,000 people showed up. The room could barely fit 1,000. It was actually it was actually squared off for 1,100 people. Yep. Inside, things it, were not much better. So it was a convention that that was apparently going to be held in a single fucking ballroom. Yep. And just the hallway of all the panel rooms and the conference rooms that this hotel had to offer. That was it. Yeah. You mean to tell me that we could not spare more panel rooms, more uh, conference rooms for this? If you can say that the one master ballroom can hold a thousand people, but you've got at least like maybe five or ten other uh, fucking conference rooms here. Or not even that. Do what some conventions do. Limit the number of tickets and then say they're sold out. Ah, but that- here's the beautiful part, though. Here's the thing, though, and we discussed this previously. When a show like this happens, you are supposed to sell three types of tickets. Yep. You sell the free tickets, you sell regular price tickets, and then you make a small, highly priced number of VIP tickets that go into the first come, first serve queue. Right. What happened here was complete opposite. Very few free tickets and over 5,000 people bought the expensive VIP tickets. Do you, do you guys remember that scene in Bruce Almighty when everybody won the lottery at the same time? And they yeah. all got like $13. And they all got like 13 bucks because of, that's exactly what happened here. Yep. And of course, everybody got thirteen dollars. Things were worse over there because, according to what I'm reading here, inside the whole venue consisted of one hallway That's and one ballroom That's what I just where said. there wasn't anything to do. Exactly. Now here's the best part, though. The Tanacon website, which has been since been taken offline by Good Times. Gee, I wonder why. I wonder why. Didn't wasn't there a teenager that was hospitalized? And oh yes. Carted out. We're gonna we're gonna cover that. They before. promised that the creators would walk around the halls and interact with the fans. Instead, a single marriage happened on stage, followed by an interview with Adam Twenty Two, Lena the Plug, and Monju. Meanwhile, Mo- Mo- Mojo. Mojo. Meanwhile, out. Oh, there was no Mojo there. Let me tell you. Meanwhile, outside, <laughs> people were passing out, getting severe first to like first degree burns, and they we seen the YouTube video. They are Some well burns done and death. cooked. And eventually, it got so bad that around 2 p.m., the fire marshal had to show off and just shut the whole thing down because people were passing out from heat stroke. It was a godless disaster. And it like as they mentioned... The Apollo the, 13 couldn't have exploded harder than this did. Like uh, Apollo 13 didn't explode. The Challenger exploded. Well, okay, well, well, go on. All right, as Jose mentioned, because Jose does, only wants to hear his own name. Jose, 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 Jose. No, Jose. that's not the point. I'm joking here. I'm trying to get your attention. You're Jose, looking a little blurry. Jose, Jose, Jose. I'm trying to I'm trying to reel us back. From- okay, and I'm trying to get to what you were trying to say. That not only were people suffering through first degree burns and sunburns, heat exhaustion, dehydration, and general fucking irritation here, but there, it got so bad that one person actually had a fucking heat stroke. A 14 year old girl. We don't know her name as as of this point. No, it wasn't a heat stroke. She was carted from out from the inside the convention. It was a, it was a heat stroke from that. It got that bad to even fi- though to those fair, inside. They took a room okay. that was only supposed to have a hundred like a thousand hundred people and they tried to cram as many people as possible in there. Somebody was gonna get heat stroke outside or inside of that building. True. Yep. So it, it was a disaster. Now What's also hysterical is that as the day uh, uh, progressed, Tana Mojo herself was trying to come into the convention and trying to address the myriad issues herself. And so was Michael Weist. As a matter of fact, you couldn't miss Michael Weist in the whole thing. He was dressed up and down in a tuxedo, from what I could tell, this nice little uh, crushed velvet suit, <laughs> riding around the single hallway and the ballroom and on a Segway, trying to put out brush fires hey. of... Security issues of people asking for uh, for uh, content creators, etc. What's even more uh, uh, terrifying was the lack of security. Non security, dude. There was nothing there. Mm-mm. No metal detectors. No back check. Nothing. Nothing. Somebody could have gone in with a fucking Uzi, and they could have gone freaking like asshole shooting up schools all over again. You know what? I bet you somebody did. They took a look at the that was going on. They said, "You know what? These people don't need me here." Probably. I just walked out because, brother, that yeah. would have been a fun. People that were been getting funny. But... Im- no, oh, by the way, it's not but, funny. It's a fucking shooting. By the way, yeah, guys, this about. took no, place in funny. California, which, in case you don't know, is very close to like the third circle of hell, where everything is burning. 
Like, they're not on the equator, but they're trying their best to be. Yeah. So imagine California with this heat and people waited out there with no water and no food for five plus hours. It was an unmitigated disaster. Some of them are still shedding the layers of skin that they cannot use anymore. Now... Okay, well, first off, before you continue, my apologies. Yes, it, no, it's not funny. You're right. It's not funny. It's making jokes about... Secondly, shootings, but, yeah. Yeah. lack Freud. of security. That's... Like, apparent, like you you guys are not going to catch this because you didn't see the last bit of it. The security company that they brought in, um, apparently they paid $60,000. Good Times paid $60,000 for the security detail from this you know independent security company. Okay. And at its height, they only had 21 security officers or security members for this convention. And the standard rule of law, or rather rule of thumb for an event as big as this, is that you need 50 for every 5,000. Oh, really? Yes. That's way more than I expected. Yes. I know. You, it's, it's surprising, isn't it? Yeah. That so, this, this is like paying for a plane but only getting the free peanuts. What the hell went wrong in that part, I wonder? Well, it, whatever it is, the, the, the point is that they paid 60 grand. For only, only 21. Uh, and, the, uh, and at yes. its height, they only had 21 security people working for this event. Not that there was much to work on. I mean, the entire facility was comprised of one room, one hallway, and seven of bodies. It, that's true. Could you imagine cramming 50 security guards into that small area? We could barely cram 5,000 people in there. Oh, we didn't even cram a... Uh, we d- didn't even cram a fifth of that. Exactly. So, but the point is, the security detail was woefully understaffed. It was less than half of what you would need for an event this size. Now... Along with that, like you mentioned earlier, there was no bag check. There was no security check. And people were being herded through and they were also being kept out. Like I mentioned earlier, and uh, like I mentioned before all this, both Tana and Michael Weiss both were in attendance of this trying to uh, put, uh, put out these brush fires. Tana participated by trying to get fan participation, trying to get people together, trying to come up with activities and not realizing that no, when you're baking and you fucking see, you're not going to say anything. Like, you know you know how you say brush fires? They're trying to put out a brush fire. There is a volcano about to go off like five minutes away from them. Exactly. You've seen the videos of people just screaming for refunds in the middle of the burning sun. It was a fucking godless mess. And Even right there at the presence of Michael Weiss. Like, I saw video clips. Like, he's right there like, oh, okay, I'll take in some questions now. Refund my money. Literally, is that. Yeah. Like, and when Tana tried to uh, hype the people up for an activity at the convention, is everyone having a good time? No! Refund Dude, my money. That was the yeah, worst question you could have possibly... Like, I was expecting bottles to start flying when she screamed that. I'm now, surprised it didn't. Now, like you guys mentioned, the fire marshals had to come in and the event got shut down. Yeah, too many people, that, too much risk. That same night, Tana Mojo had gone to um, what's basically like in... If, like like a sponsored event party kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And it was set up by the people who run her talent agency, by people who are helping out with her sponsorship and other people who were in attendance for VidCon. She was going there and she was actually, it looked like a fucking club party, but she was there trying to talk to people like, okay, what do we do about tomorrow? What do we do about the next day here? Meanwhile, Michael Weist did not bother to stick around at the convention. He didn't bother to stick around in the building. He didn't bother to stick around in the city of Anaheim. He didn't even bother to stick around in the state of California. Nope. No, because that son of a bitch ran away. The Apparently. Sec- the second he found out that things were going to go wrong, he jumped on his Segway, sprouted wings, and flew away like an extremely fraudulent Mary Poppins. Oh, my God. That's bad. Come on, man. Don't that's insult Mary joke. Poppins like that. Come yeah. What, what would she say? If she heard you, especially if her child Peter Quill is there to hear you talk she crap, she wouldn't about be her. angry. She would just be disappointed. <laughs> yeah, California, rest <laughs> in peace. Simultaneous. Oh yeah, no. The dude release. took one look at what happened and did the most sensible, reasonable thing a man in his position can do. He grabbed the money and ran like a bitch. <laughs> By grab just the money, run. I no, mean, specifically, if he, he thinks did. it's sensible, Watch then out. sure. Hey, no, man, I think throwing Molotov cocktails at businesses that undercut me is sensible. You don't see me doing it. Now, to be fair, he wasn't exactly running away with the money, but the money itself but he was, was not available 
for anyone because while people were asking for refunds and demanding asking, it, right. Yeah, no, I know. As, as, uh, they're they're asking in, this, in the same way a professional boxer keeping my jaw in is asking for a handshake. Yeah, true. No, it, 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 <laughs> it nearly became a riot. He, the, apparently, Good Times had set up the ticketing system for this event through another company called Veeps. That's you know, like you know, like Veeps. little you know the little mush, uh, the marshmallow uh, peeps. Oh yeah, they I love say those. that with the letter V instead of P in the beginning. Veeps. I don't know why they spell it that way. Appar- because they vape. Uh, Clearly, they're the worst peeps that you'll ever have in your life. They are filled with smoke and pretentiousness. Wow! You can't even kill yourself, right? Dude, no! Wow! Peeps. What the fuck? Jesus. Okay, so long story short, this company is the one that's handling the money, and Veeps has the roughly three hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars of the ticket sale money in trust. They are holding on to that. That seems reasonable. Just cancel the thing and give them the money back, right? <sighs> Right. Murphy's Law had been in full effect this entire time. Oof. Also, Angel, do you really expect a degree of common sense to take place? At this point, common sense has left the building. Common sense left the building a long time ago, but my foolish human nature demands that now, I cling to any shard of hope that I can find. Now, the second day of what was supposed to be the Tanacon event begins, and anyone who bothered to try to come back to the uh, the Marriott con- uh, uh, Conference Center. I can't believe some people actually came some back. Some people tried to come back and they were turned away at the door. Not even the that. The event Damn. is canceled. The event has been canceled indefinitely. There is no more TanaCon. That's it. Now, as of Monday the 25th, like I mentioned earlier, you know, YouTuber Shane Dawson, he was trying to get uh, he, uh, he was trying to get involved in all this and try to figure out what happened. And the reason for that is because he was one of the featured YouTube stars who was marqueeing this event. You yep. know, like how you'd see in the old movies that you have, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? John Travolta, uh, Samuel L. Jackson. This, like, Shane Dawson is that big of a deal. He, he was a is, very special guest. And so, he, and for a guy who never goes and attends as a guest at any convention. Apparently the last time he did that was at like th- one of the first VidCons huh, like eight guess. years back or whatever. And he hadn't been in a guest since then. He's like, no, fuck it. I'm going to just, just keep doing my shit, stay at home for him to come out. That's a big deal. It is indeed. And with everything imploding all around him. And I use this, uh, a- a- this uh, comparison. You guys know that one scene in the TV show community, Donald Glover comes in uh, to this uh, house party. He's got a bunch of pizzas. He goes into the apartment. Everything's on fire. Yeah, people are just screaming and rolling on the ground. He's like, oh God, what the shit? Yeah, That's that was pretty much what happened. That yeah. was Shane. That was Shane. He no, was Donald Glover. That is Shane because this disaster is still going. You're right. Yeah. Well, yeah, as of this recording. Which is like, kind of funny. Uh, now, as, I got- as I mentioned earlier, it's like sitting through a screening of food fight. No, no, Joseph this is being me a, forced to write the script of Food Fight. Joseph, oh. Joseph, do me a favor. Let's not bring up that shit. Let's not ever bring up that shit of a Racing, movie. Racing, eating dog. Voice Sixty-eight by million Sheen. dollars. Sixty-eight. Never before seen Sheen results. results. <laughs> go on, uh, go on. Boy, so. did we get that here too. So Shane Dawson had created, uh, had begun investigating as as soon as Monday came around, uh, and. One of the first calls that he made was to uh, two attendees, two uh, girls who came to California to attend TanaCon. He actually got them uh, over to his home where he does his YouTubing, and uh, he invited them in. They were still lobstered. They were still sunburnt. They're, of they're course, a nice shit of crim- of California crimson. Jesus, it Christ, was a man. new and style, we, and we thought we Floridians have it bad. Oh no, we have it good because our tough Cuban skins have adapted to the brutal rays of the sun. Well, Not everyone got- is Cuban, Angel. Well, I guess that's what it's called natural selection. Wow, <laughs> when this the, is the worst joke. When the summer solstice comes around, we'll be the only ones left standing. It already came and passed. You exactly. missed it. You missed it. No. You missed the body pickup because you were at work. Oh. You're right, I was. Consider right. yourself but, lucky. Okay, but go on. Okay, right, so, so they arrived. They're still showing signs that they were sunburnt from waiting they outside sh- of Tanacon. They showed off the shitty uh, gift bag oh, for the featured fucking God. creators. The fucking condoms. Tan- 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 condoms. Tana condoms. Who knows how much money Rain's was put condoms. In- oh, no, God, no, I will never approve that. No? You sure? What if I can get it for like... 20 cents each. Dude, think Fuck about you. it this way. Considering how that con was managed, do you honestly want to put the trust of your birth control on that? 
Good point. Because considering how that works, the moment you put that on your like reproductive member, is going to fly off the handle and explode in your hand. Or if a person asks me to try and come out with a merchandise for condoms for the Ravenslock, I will say, here's five bucks. Go buy yourself a condom and go fuck yourself. <laughs> Tad of condoms. You put them on, your wife gets pregnant. That being how said, does that work? We that don't being, know either. That All being right, said, so that is chill. one of the that is one of the dumbest things you could put in a gift bag. For yeah, a dude. Like, we all know that. How, like, do you have any idea how many uh, how many attendees were there were underage? You more importantly, a condom? it's a con. No one there is getting laid. You're going to the wrong cons, man. <laughs> Angel, I'm going I don't to, think you know. I'm not going to Dude. the right cons, so it would seem. We may be geeks, but we know how to freak. What he said. I'm going to make him. I was going to make a masturbation joke, but it got too easy, so I'm going to stop there. Yes, okay. Because so. we're getting off track. The point is, shit went bad. Um, uh, Mr. Uh, Shane yeah, actually Shane jumped in there and did some. And well, he's been trying to do damage control, for lack of a better term, and trying to figure out what the hell happened, which I will give the guy props for. He really doesn't have any stake in this. He was just a guest. But yep. he's going the extra mile to figure out what the hell is going on and calling out everybody involved. And so, and so the first step in his uh, documentary, which came out on uh, Thursday, the what was it, 28th or 29th? The 28th. Yeah, Thursday the 28th on YouTube. Or was it 29th? No, you, no, yeah, 28th. The 28th. The 29th was Friday. Go yes, on. okay. So that was the first part of his documentary. And he put together his inf- information and got the testimony from everyone who was there uh, based on uh, the events and everything that was described by the two girls that came and visited. While that happened, he also received a call from Tana Mojo herself. He'd been trying to get in touch with her. Um, now, just a minor little thing. Both Tana and Shane Dawson live in Los Angeles, which isn't far from Anaheim, California. But the fact that uh, the event took place in Anaheim, obviously there's some travel involved. In his home in Los Angeles, Tana, uh, uh, Shane asks Tana, hey, where are you? I've been trying to reach you. She tells him, I'm still in Anaheim. What? I've been trying to get a hold of Michael this whole time. He hasn't answered anyone's calls. He hasn't answered my calls. He hasn't answered uh, anyone else on in my crew's calls. And n- nobody. As if he doesn't know how his fucking phone works, I guess. I don't know. So, mm-hmm. Oh, he knows exactly how it works. It's called example, the off button. He knows that if you put the volume button really down, you don't have to worry about your problems for a while. <laughs> or, or he figured out how to block numbers. Because you know, that's the thing, too. That's the thing, too. But go on. In the iconic words of Lord Conqueror and Galactic Darren Frieza, like a bitch. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Go on, Juan, now, please. Shane uh, recorded uh, recorded that call and, 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 was, and was showing how Tana was apologizing out her ass because she is profusely embarrassed and disappointed in how the event took uh, went down. And she is uh, stating up and down for everyone to hear who, with anyone who's got a pair of work and eardrums. I am ready and willing to take full responsibility of everything that happened here. But I need to speak with uh, with Michael. He has been avoiding my calls. I need to know what the hell he has done. She is uh, throwing accusations left and right of this guy w- was warned. Uh, no, this guy... I was warned about this guy by other YouTubers and by other people that he will screw me over, that he's <laughs> holding withholding money from other artists that he's worked with and they're afraid of him and they're, they're afraid because he's in control of uh, their money flow from the events that they worked with him on. And she's worried that he's going to try to make off with her money too, or with the, uh, or rather with the money from Tanacon. What's even more Disturbing is something that we in the Ravens flock take particular fucking issue with. Go for it, Juan. The usage of it, uh, of other people's intellectual property without their permission. Specifically, Tana and her crew, they were filming with stuff behind the scenes because after the event was finished, they were planning on putting out like a making of TanaCon, a little uh, fun web series or, you know, inst- like, like little mini documentary or whatever behind the scenes of how this awesome event was going to take place. Apparently the only uh, communication that Tana received was from one of uh, Michael's interns at good Times, saying you do not own any of the footage that you made. It is all the property of good times. We're going to take that, uh, that footage. You're not allowed to use it or sell it or, or put it up anyways. And the reason for that is because we're going to be putting out a Netflix documentary oh, of the yeah. making of TanaCon ourselves. Oh, and we're going to sell it to Amazon, and we're going to sell it to Netflix and put it on like the freaking Paramount Network. I get app. the feeling that somebody already did this way more successfully. Who? Oh, hi, Mark. 
Oh, oh my god. This oh, this is yeah. like Tommy Wiseau and the and the disaster artist in the this room. Is, no, see see, the room has happened in real life and yep. it was a disaster, and now they're trying to make a disaster artist out of it. Oh my Except god. Except this doesn't have any charm or funny moments. This Angel, is just a fuck up. I was gonna say, Angel, you're not far off because Tana's Tana's cries are basically whittled down to Everybody betrayed me. <laughs> fed up with this world. I'm fed up with this world. Slapping laptops off the table like <laughs> You're tearing me apart, Michael! All right, right, go okay, on. Okay, assholes. All right, let me All reel right. it back, reel it back, go reel on. In other back. news, some attendees, 200 as of this point, are in talks to file a class action lawsuit against Good Times to get compensation for tickets and mistreatment. And it says here that Good Times had already posted that they would refund the tickets within 30 days of filing the claim. I'm not going to hold my breath. Neither am I, but to only 200 people As out of the 5,000? You would think like, everybody would be scrambling for the lawyers. One would imagine. Maybe they're just busy slathering like FPS 3,000 million on their chests at this point. Yo, guys, by the way, lidocaine gel, aloe vera gel. Yeah, special aloe vera is good yeah, stuff. Yeah, aloe vera gel, minor you know, little tip here. If you can't avoid the, uh, the, the, the sunburn with sunscreen, then you can treat it with aloe vera gel or with lidocaine gel oh, or burn right, gel. But, but guys, that explains guys. it. That in the pr- procedure of molting, once they get their shiny new Californian coats, then they can go to the land of the lawyers. Okay, so, so after Shane contacted Tana, then uh, uh, following that, then Shane contacted. He got he he managed to get in touch with Michael Weiss. How the fuck? But I don't on, know. On the I'm first pretty sure try. it involves human sacrifice and smoke signals. On the first try, no less. Angel, stop he, being ambitious, man. No, <laughs> you're you, right. Do I need to worry about you? Yes, he does. Now I'm not starting my own con anytime soon, so no. Ha! Angel con. Everyone has to speak in Spanish first. No, everybody needs to speak in Enochian. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get out. All right, Juan, go okay, on. So, so Now, this is fucked up, and this is where the second part of Shane Dawson's documentary, which came out Friday, uh, the 29th of June, um, it covers. And it covers a FaceTime call that was happening on the same day on Monday between Shane and Michael. Michael didn't answer his call uh, phones to anyone. Shane texted Michael and Shane said, hey, I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. Can we talk? Michael t- texted him back saying, yeah, let's set up a FaceTime in about 10 or 15 minutes or whatever. I don't know how long it took. Immediately after that, Tana calls Shane right back. And she said, are you serious? Did he answer your, uh, fo- uh, your phone call? And yeah, he's going to. All right, well. Just so you know, like he, he, uh, she's warning him basically to take everything with a grain of salt because of mountains of salt. Oh, Angel, we're back on the planet Crate. Welcome to planet Crate, motherfucker. Here Jesus we go again. Fucking Christ. All right, go so, on. So, so Shane records the FaceTime call, and this basically boiled down to Michael using every other sentence to say basically. I can't believe Tana was so neglectful and so irresponsible. I was stressing so badly in the time of making of this convention. I was trying to tell her to, uh, to help me out in this and join me in meetings. She wouldn't join me in meetings. All she did was go out and party. All she did was go with her girlfriend, Bella Thorne, to Hawaii. All she did was, was piss around and make announcements, and I had to somehow make it all happen. And I can't believe I'm losing all this time and effort. I've never done anything like this before. She should have been a better business partner. I'm going to lose my house over this. This. You're tearing me apart, Tana! Now, slapping house deeds off the table. Now, we are talking uh, about the same Tana who is equally disorganized throughout this whole ordeal. We're about to get to that. Oh, yeah. yeah we're going to get to that. Joe, covering, there is a sequence. We're covering okay. one side of the fuck up before we go to the other side of the fuck up. All right. Now. All right. All right. So, go on. And so, in that conversation, what else was. Uh, Shane had uh, basically called him to task and said, You could have done more on your end. To mitigate this, you could have looked for a bigger venue. You could have made more effort to get the right perks and stuff that these kids were looking for. You could have confirmed the appearance of all these YouTubers that you said was going to be there. You're the one who says you're a big businessman. You're the one who says you've been doing this since you're 17. You're a baby billionaire and that you're a big shot for making events. Where is this experience showing? Because I don't see it. I don't see it in this aftermath. This doesn't scream experience. This screams somebody who is either A, in over their head, or B, planning to fail. Michael's response, but Tana was so much worse. 
She was, I can't believe this. I'm going to lose my house over this. So basically in this he, whole he conversation, he shifted. He shifts the blame to Tana mm. and no. com, 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 keeps complaining and worrying and crying a river that he's going to be losing, uh, that he is going to lose everything he owns. Uh, he was shifting the blame the way tectonic plates shift in their, in the molten mantle of the earth. No, he was going seismic on her. <laughs> she was, On purpose. Like, okay, this is tectonic. This is the San the San Andreas fault on a good day. There was also part of that part in that conversation where the uh, the maximum capacity for the convention was addressed, and he mentioned something about taking the Marriott ho- I mean, filing a lawsuit against the Marriott. Uh, yeah. Uh, apparently, this boy Michael uh, uh, said, "Oh, they told me that the uh, that the ballroom could hold five thousand people. I trusted them." Well, it shows on the building in the room maximum capacity is eleven hundred people. What the fuck? Like, ah, fuck oh, it. We'll no, I it trusted out. them. They, they can't believe this. I'm going to sue the hotel. Tana was such a bad friend in this. I'm going to lose my house over this. Oh, my God. Like, How many times has he said that, by the way? Like, in all honesty, he only said it once, but okay, it's okay. got... I mimetic. thought I heard it, it more than once. No, he it, put it enough mimetic. wine in it that it felt like he said it as many times as Linkin Park says, crawling in my skin. Crawling in my crawling in my this crawls crawling. they will not refall. Right. Anyway, okay. okay, but I point digress. is, it's grown into a mimetic mutation. And more importantly, Florida. it doesn't matter what kind of defense you try to take for yourself. When your reaction to the problem was get on your magical segue and run away from the problems into the next state. It's fucking really? Like it's no, kind of the next state. He flew to the opposite end. Of it's kind of hard to basically pro- like appear yourself as. In- Let's be honest. Not that Tana is not equally fucked up in this situation, but it's kind of hard to take any stance of innocence when your response to the problem was. I must do my best to run away as far as possible, as fast as I can. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, right. There was a cloud shaped like his body on the wake of his escape. So, so, all right. So after he spoke with Mike, what happened? All right. After he spoke with Mike, uh, later that day on Monday, he had gone to, t- like Tana ma- finally managed to make her way back to Los Angeles to her apartment or her uh studio floor whatever it is it, it's her house it's her place yeah, yeah um and he's like okay i'm going to talk to tana and i am going to get her side of this and i'm go- i'm also going to call you back shane i'm gonna call you back fucking mike michael michael whatever and sh- and shane has to his cre- credit for a guy who does who is not trained in journalism you know, because I pride myself in in freaking mass communication and journalism and journalistic studies and shit. That's why I bring such you know, long winded fucking speeches and shit because I need to get down to the bottom of things. For a guy who does not necessarily have that, he showed up. He like Shane showed up. That is badass. He kept as much like yes, I'll sympathize and I'll empathize with you because this is a stressful situation for you guys. But that doesn't mean I'm going to coddle you. That doesn't mean I'm going to go easy on you. I will hold you to task for the shit that happened because it was your responsibility. And fuck yeah, he did that. He did that to Michael. And at the third video, which came out on uh, just last week, Monday, uh, fucking the the second, right? Yes. Yep. July second. Um, and he was greeted by Tana. She came down from the elevator. She was in a hoodie and sweatpants, and she was already uh, 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 like defeated. Like she'd been sobbing her head off for two hours prior to that. Mm-hmm. So she she greets Shane with open arms, bated breath, and just the sense of defeat. Now this has got people all over the Webernets at the Reddits and the Tumblers and Angel's involuntary eye rolling that I saw again. No, brother. That was entirely voluntary. <laughs> and especially no. Twitter and YouTube. Let's just Sorry. And, and people oh, are I hollering am. crocodile tears. They're hollering acting. Mm-hmm. Basically They're calling, calling, her, calling her shit out. See, the problem is, it's all well and good, but I cannot help but to feel like they may have a point because don't forget, those may have been real tears. She may have been crying for two hours. But this is also the same person whose reaction to being kicked over con was, fuck you, I'll make my own. The problem yep. is that Tana Mojo suffers from wolf crying syndrome at this point. Oh, yes. Those she, are no like, crocodile tears. That is a fucking wolf pack of wolves. Like the end, Howling at the moon, brother. And it's, it's dreadful. You see that Shane is trying to be the big brother to her. He's giving her the sympathetic shoulder and ear to cry on. 
okay, that sounded weird. Sympathetic ear to listen and the shoulder to cry on. There. Yes. You, I'm what trying is to anatomy? My, I'm trying to get my words out, okay? No, yeah, yeah, you're so fine. Fucking, you're fine. So she's like bawling. She is remorseful. She is ashamed. She is shocked from. She's an amazing actress. If this is acting, then I need to find. I need to polish off an Oscar, dude. But, it's easier to ask for what was it again? It's easier to ask for forgiveness than for permission. permission. And you notice that ever since, like, make no mistake, I am on the camp that everybody involved in this fucked up real hard. Oh yeah, I am like 50-50, blame for everybody. What, like, clearly one of you initiated the blame, but the other one of you fucked up. Here's the problem, though. You notice that the only thing that she's done is apologize. Nothing else besides apologizing. Well, the tr- uh, well, let me put, get, put it this way. There, how much indemnification, how much liability, how much actual legal responsibility did Tana herself sign up for when she got into business with these guys? Uh, is there a contract? Is there any sort of business venture? Did they create an LLC together where they would have an equal liability? Is there any form of fucking legal document that a lawyer can look at that was signed by like a fucking notary public or something that says in the event of something person a is liable for x percent of you know payment person b is liable for x percent now hang on because me is and the, angel have not seen the third part uh, admittedly i'm did giving sh- you guys the third yeah. part now did shane address those questions <laughs> of course he did actually no he did not of course he didn't because he fell for the same thing she did no, like I haven't seen the video before. You told me of the video, and I will see when this is over because I want a full, con- like full yes. context of this. This is what I saw. Somebody described that this is what the video was, and I'm starting to feel like you may be correct. Like, don't even read it out loud; just read it to yourself. Because, okay, here's the deal. You're right. Maybe legally speaking, for all we know, she might be completely hands off on this entire thing. But here's the problem: this is not from the point of view of a lawyer. This is not from the point of view of a notary. And more importantly, this is not from the point of view of people who give a shit about paperwork. This is from the point of view of the people that were left in the sun baking for five hours. Tana promised them something. And then they didn't get it. And all we know is that Tana decided to start a con out of spite. She teamed up with this somewhat dubious company. And everything went to shit. And it doesn't matter if papers were signed. She still had a responsibility. Yeah. To keep an eye on that crap. Now, I'm not going to take this out of Michael here because this is the dude that ran away from the problem. I dislike him just as much, if not more, than the other side of this party. I'm going to let you pontificate for a minute and you and, uh, and Isaiah give your, you get your words in. Right, I need right. to take a leak. This happens a lot lately on the Black Files. Piss we- the bullshit away. <laughs> Piss it all away, Piss my it friend. all away, man. Give po- a second. Wait, right. Angel, go on. Go so on. here's the deal. The point is, regardless of the matter, she's the one that hired that company. She's the one that got into cahoots with these guys to start this con. So that means that there is a responsibility there to be taken. You don't just get to fucking hire them, dump literally every ounce of problems on them, and then get to sit down, apologize, and have a good cry when shit goes bad. The thing is, as far as Tana Mojo is concerned, all of her actions, all of her decisions that have been made public, which, yeah, by the way, nice going, but <laughs> that all, everything, everything that she does, it just displays the type of character that she is. She, in my opinion... Based on her decisions and uh, her, her actions that she's taken going forward, they're all emotionally driven. There is no common sense, no like planned thought in her head of any of the uh, decisions she's made. She starts a convention out of spite just because she did some shit to get her ass kicked out of VidCon. Yep. And then she decides to plan it with a two-month time frame, hires a dubious a company month, to yeah, get it done. Yeah, this this ch- tells us that this woman has no common sense. Has, I would actually call her a child if it's all she's right. Like but 20, fine, she? child, she's like 20, isn't she? She's 20. She barely child. got out of her She's seat. a goddamn child. This young lady Ryan, clearly doesn't have responsibility. She's a goddamn a child bit. with no sense of responsibility, and she's... Trying to go, it, it, she's trying to go nose deep. Two months, two months, six to days, or, man, to organize a convention, and I'm just disappointed. It's a I'm stream just, of bad decisions. It's just okay. one bad decision after another. The problem is not when bad shit happens to you because of bad decisions. That's just karma. Is when your actions begin to affect all those other people that you know you fucked up. Now, do you give? Do you get the impression that she just kind of hired the company and gave them the time frame I think I've and heard just kind of forgot about it? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Like she, like because it can be. It can't. 
I want to believe that there's a limit to how irresponsible you can be. But no. at the same time, look at what we're dealing here. Okay, right now. now, I'm going to give you guys the rundown on everything because, like you said, Angel, you have not seen this third part of Shane Dawson's documentary. All right, go on. Now, go on. After she has her little cry fist with Shane, after Shane basically tells her, it's fine and it's good that you feel bad about this, but you done goofed. <laughs> and now it's time to pay the piper. He sets up a FaceTime call between himself and Ch- Tana with Michael on the other side. What ensues is nothing less than a oh, something that comes out of a fucking I did real saw that world. clip. That clip was amazing. They're like, you, you, you betrayed me. You, li- you lied to me. No, you lied to me. How could you? How could you? How could you? How I could did you? not cheat her. I, I did, did not cheat her. I did, I did not. It's not true. I did not do it. Oh, oh hi, Sean. God. So they went back and Shane. forth, basically trying to point the blame put the at, blame each, at each, other. each other. Which she's is what, like, which was exactly what what you. She's hollering. Somebody must have known this was going to happen. Like Come she's on. hollering. You were. Like I was warned that you were gonna try and cheat me, that you were trying to scout me to get money out of me and to and to make money off of my name, uh, and and he's over here saying, "Oh well, you were not responsible. You didn't do anything, and you weren't there." And, and the they're both whole, right. That's the best part. The, actually, you you I'm about to I'm about to yeah go on surprise you here. On, go on. Shane, the whole time he's like, "Okay, okay, kids, wrap it up, get this all out. Both of you need to." take responsibility and, and share the blame instead of pass it along. Well, good to know somebody has some common sense left. They there. finish the call and Tana tells them, before, before you go, Shane, I want to show you the footage that Good Times is claiming belongs to them. I want to show you what I recorded to prove that I had been with Michael step by step. I wasn't shirking responsibilities. We had... Like we had meetings like crazy in the t- in the time between the announcement and the creation of uh, of Tanacon. We I was there with him the whole time. We were trying to get this set up. Now, one of the first uh, clips that everyone's that's got everybody talking is something is actually some video uh, at Tana's home with Michael sitting on one end, Tana sitting out on the other with her friends and her crew, and they're saying, "Okay, well, we're projecting like five thousand people showing up." Um, there's roughly like 3,000 ticket sales and Tana's actually gushing like this is so cool for us this is gonna be so good like <laughs> like, can you imagine like the sight of all those people piling in and, and trying to come in because people like in her words people love being oppressed outside that's Clearly, like, that's not the best way to word it. And she follows that by saying, like, I love the stories and I love how, like, oh, I'm in the concert and I waited out in the rain all day, but I got to see the concert. And it was so fucking cool. Yeah, I think she forgot the part where the majority <sighs> of the people who are in that condition don't enjoy being in the rain all day. No. Like, congratulations. You found the one person that was happy that they waited out there just to see Limp Bizkit. Yeah. All no, right. So she well, no, I can't check. Like that's got and Shane red flagged, and everyone all over the 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 webverse has like, been what red the flagging. Like, fuck, stop you saying did this like, on purpose. Of you course knew. you did. This no, was born out of a combination of arrogance, ignorance, and unpreparedness. Also, ego. Let me put it this way: Tana is not some sort of diabolical fucking mastermind. Okay, she's the, not maleficent cackling in her throne while little imp stands around her. No, I'm she's sorry, she's ten years too early for that. It's she's, not happening. She's a YouTuber who makes her fame out of controversial, dramatic videos, and her ego got the best of her. And after that, what followed was a string of bad decisions, one after another. Now it gets it gets worse. No, it gets crazy. It no. gets better now. Now here's what's up. Hang on, oh, hang on. Oh, zip. Let's go, go on, Juan. Put that damn thing away, Angel. <laughs> no. Do you mind? It's staring at me. <laughs> Please make it stop. His name is Red Wing. Go ahead. Get it off. Pet. Juan, continue. <laughs> Angel, <laughs> shut right, up. Now, okay, okay, okay. okay back, now, to, back to the important Another piece things. of the footage was Tana with Michael inspecting the venue. Ho, ho. She was there specifically saying... This room looks cool, but there is no way in hell we're going to fit 5,000 people. I actually want it to fit. And Michael actually says, oh, no, I spoke with the hotel. Don't worry about it. Trust me. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Tommy, where is all this money coming from? Uh, no, Don't worry the, about it, Mark. Don't worry about it. Uh, 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 yeah, Shh, stop what's it, Greg. Greg. It's on Greg. camera. Yeah, don't no, don't swear about no, this it. Is Greg. Pre- this is literally like okay. Somebody I don't want to sully Tommy Wise's good name. Let me put it this way: If Tana had any previous experience with this kind of business, the moment she saw this venue, her first answer should have been either we get a bigger venue or we shut this thing down immediately. Exactly. Like the smart thing to do would have been this is not going to work. 
Unfortunately, that was not the smart thing to say that day. No, it wasn't. And she was basically saying, I'm leaving this in your capable hands. <laughs> and you see her like with a little checklist and she's like, okay, I want it to be set up this way. I want this stuff here. This isn't that. She looked like she was planning shit out like crazy. Yeah. Details can be planned easily, and but when it comes to logistics, mm. that's a different story. Exactly. If you look carefully to the side of the video, you can see a strange fellow with a mustache, a blackboard, and a ton of chalk for some reason. Yeah, It's a All cosmic right. blackboard. You can see uh, the uh, the Andromeda galaxy through it. So, so, what like other, so what other video footage has Tana released to Shane? Um, like there was other footage in there, basically of like how she's saying like, okay, I I, I trust you. I believe that you're gonna be doing the, the, the right thing here. Yeah, it's okay. I've got experience. I've got experience. I can. I do got this. a segue. You can trust the guy with the segue. No, I can't. He said as he segued away. No, I can't. Clever segue, I guess. <laughs> wow. So fucking hell. At the end oh, of it, trust me, she's there was showing a lot, a lot of, of clever there. She's showing a lot of shit that. Uh, very similar to what fucking Michael was doing, throwing him under the bus while he was doing the same to her. The only thing is, he's got words. He's got, oh, she wasn't doing this when we've got Evans like, um, according to this video footage and according to these meeting videos that both in, uh, that both incriminate the both of you and validates her point, no, she wasn't. Yeah, she's a freaking jet-setting YouTuber. I don't know how the fuck these kids can afford to fly to Hawaii. What Two thousand dollars, dude. No, fuck that. I'm sorry. No, I'm. I'm I'll, I'll. I'll get to my bitter old man YouTubing shit later. I'm that's pretty not, sure it had to do with organ go, trafficking go. and may or may not involve drugs. Oh my god. Go on, continue, know. please. But like the point is, yeah, she does that shit, but she's also got footage of her working with this guy. They've mm. got date and time stamps on this stuff, son. Don't go trying to say that she was lazy and just pawning everything off on you when you're the one in the video saying I can do it. But my Trust house, me. though. Okay, and so I say, after I he was called out, the wheel. what else did what did Mike say after the fact? He doesn't say shit. No, the, the, no, you have to remember the, this footage that Tana is showing Shane in the in the third part is after the call with okay, Michael. Okay, so is that, yep. okay, so yeah, so after that we don't hear anything else from Michael. Now, oh, and we we never will if he has his way. Uh, <laughs> go on, you go know on. how these people are, man. No, all right, I don't so. know. Now, supposedly this third part was supposed to come out on Saturday the thirtieth. But it came out on Monday, the second, because there was additional information. Oh. Shane somehow managed to get his hands on the contract between Good Times and the Marriott Hotel. Oh, boy. And the contract between Good Times and Veeps, the ticket company. Veeps. Veeps, yeah. Vaping meeps, the worst ones of them all. All right. Th th no, we're not going to get about vaping right all now. All right, right, right. Vape what? Meeps. Okay. Dude. Now, what according to the contract yeah, with the yeah. hotel. What details you... were disclosed in the contract between the hotel and Good Times? They literally uh, they literally said in here that if they sign up for this event, that the ballroom that they're renting will hold only a max of 11,000 people. Michael, apparently in a follow-up call, said, oh, yeah, they said that that's a safety number, but that they were totally going to uh, accommodate all 5,000. That's why I'm going to sue them. I'm losing my house over this. God damn it. So he knew that, <laughs> like, him and Tana knew that this room was not sufficient, that this venue was not enough, and he signed on the dotted line. Yep. We can What's totally handle, they say, five minutes before screaming, oh, shit, how could this happen? Now... This is also where we got the numbers from Veeps with the ticket sales. Those are most important. There was 5,108 featured fucking creator VIP tickets sold. 5,000 no, people the, won the lottery. Yeah, 5,000 The lottery was $5,000. Yeah, and Angel, I think you already did the math yeah, of the tickets. Uh, you summed it up to three hundred and twenty-five. I did the math. Oh, Give or take, it's three hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Yes. Yeah. Jesus that's Christ. basically a small fortune spent there, so you can see your favorite YouTube star. Now that's Jesus not Christ. including travel and accommodation. You know how much I paid to see the Nostalgia Critic? I paid like thirty bucks. Yeah, but then you were rooming with us, so whatever. Yeah, but he was a really cool dude about it. Yeah, that was in 2012. and then The we point is, if I wanted to see my favorite YouTubers, I'm pretty sure I would pay a hell of a lot less than these guys. I mean, I am down for fans expressing their love and appreciation for the things they love, but holy shit, guys. Now. It's a YouTube channel. God damn. What's even more fucked up is that the regular free tickets, quote unquote, the, the free regular uh, the tickets. The ones that costed nothing. Right. Apparently, those 
there were only between two and three hundred of those tickets issued. Like you mentioned, Angel, this was reversed. Yeah, that's not how it's, that's not how you're supposed to do it. That's, that's not how, how it works. That's how we got that number over here because we're referring to the information that Shane's that got. That is bananas. And in the actual fucking agreement between Good Times and Veeps, the ticket company. There was a provision in there saying that in the event of any loss or of any uh, like occurrence that causes the event to be canceled, in the issuance of refunds, instead of it coming out from the funds of the ticket sales collected by Veeps, that the event organizer themselves have to reimburse that money directly, meaning that the money that you're uh, that you give. That's being held in trust by Veeps over your ticket to Tanacon is not going to be paid right back out to you by Veeps. Nope. Good times themselves somehow have to come up with that three hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars and pay it back and pay it back themselves. That is dumb Un- as hell. That is unbelievably stupid. And Michael Weist, who's the head of this company, Good Times, who's the CEO, and according to Tana, it's literally just him and two interns. Wait, 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 wait. The company's just three people. Yep. And he's the CEO. Correct. Remember what I told you a while ago, Joe? How the CEOs never really know how the business works. Oh my God, you're right. Guess what? <laughs> it applies Even when in, it's just three people, it applies in all aspects of life, my That's friend. That's why you need people like Washimi around. Yes. <laughs> what the hell is Washimi? What did I miss? A, a, from Regretzko. Washimi, you know. Oh, okay, yeah. The okay. secretary the bird. Secretary right, 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 right. Okay, okay. You need somebody to kick your desk in half and give you a reality check. Good point. Unfortunately, okay. there was no Washimi around this time. Now, Michael Weist committed the first cardinal sin of business. When it comes to signing a contract, you always read the fine print before signing. That's why I was arguing, where is the LLC? Where is the lawyer? Where is there a notary public? Did you did this guy get somebody uh, on retainer? Was this form, document like, even ratified? Like exactly, like the, like you need to if you're going to get into any sort of business venture, you better get somebody who's either a business lawyer or an entertainment lawyer, or get yourself instance. some business experience. Exactly, but and it's you, okay. But see, Juan, you can't really blame him because twenty year olds don't know how to read. Yes. Ah. <laughs> wow. Yes, they do. These millennials that don't have any literacy whatsoever oh Angel, with their segways and their iPhones and their Facebooks and their YouTubes and their nipple piercings and their scrotum operations. Angel. And focus their PlayStation the, 4s and their Yu-Gi-Oh the fuck cards. up, man. I'm trying to tell you something. You want to know something funny? Uh, you, me, and Jose, we're considered fucking millennials. Of course we are. I feel like I'm a thousand years old every day when I wake up. God damn it. Not like that. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Anyways. So, no, so back but, to so, okay, the Okay, so we have a company. Okay, so let me see if I get this straight. Just going real quick here. Yep. You're going to make your own con. Yep. So you get a company staffed by three people. Uh, apparently... The boss of which may or may not be younger than you. He was only a couple months older than her. Like, <laughs> okay. Sp- under a span of two months. I do not care whose fault this ultimately turns out to be. The second that decision was made, failure was not a possibility. It was a certainty. It was, it was written the in the stars in the firmament of the cosmos. There's like somewhere if out I there. Bar- if I could borrow a, a verbiage from social media, it was written on the wall. It was written on the wall. Somewhere out there in the cosmos, fucking Murphy. Moral casualty, Murphy Strauss. And Murphy himself this- is on his, is just standing on his cosmic chalkboard with, with and grinding a whole fucking nebula to get more chalk. And he's just tallying up everything that went wrong at Tanacon, tallying like, after tallying. After and tally. if Michael Weiss has any shred of self-respect left in him, no, he, he and his other co- uh, co- uh, um, companions of the company, no, no, they do, would You work, mean his interns that he doesn't interns, pay? His interns, they would work... Oh, he doesn't pay his interns? Dude, um, they're okay, interns. Do you know what an intern is? It's basically indentured slavery. It is just, okay. Oh, wow, that's even worse. Okay, me... You're going to work for me for free in exchange of obtaining experience that you will put into a recommendation later that then maybe in the future might or might not serve you to be, to get an actual job. Well, if I were them, I'd pack my bags already. But anyways, like, there's, no, you're not not wrong. A, there's not a ball on chain around your leg, but they might as well be wrong. No, right no, now. If, if, Michael's, if Michael Weiss has any shred of self-respect left in him, he would <laughs> not rest 
until he makes he makes it right with his uh, with the contract that he signed and try to reimburse the money. But that's being a little too ambitious. That's you, hoping for too much. You have to remember something. I know. We don't know what the fucking uh, if he this guy knows how to fucking sign a contract because clearly, like we find that the event was not only shut down by the fire marshal due to the uh, havoc that it was re- wreaking. Apparently, they set this event up with this venue without getting a permit from the city. So, so this that thing was a, this was a screw up even before it officially started. Like you got to understand, whenever we see, like for example, Metrocon, which is going to be next week here at the Tampa Convention Center, July nineteenth to the twenty second, and follow. You know, us in on the case you want to know about an actual good event, like right? the one that we're attending because we're invading go Metrocon, on. which you totally should attend. Yeah, yep. go and on. meet us. Um, but I can tell you, the guys who organized that convention from its very beginning. I'll bet you dollars to donuts. If the, like they first had it at like the Sheraton East Hotel in like in, in Eastern Tampa slash Brandon area, I'll bet your ass that the guys running that joint got a freaking permit with the, with Hillsborough County here in Florida. I'll bet you when they moved over to the Tampa Convention Center, not only did they go ahead and get themselves set up with an agreement with the Tampa Convention Center, but they got a permit with the fucking county of hillsborough here in florida now because, here's my thing because it's a fucking venue now, no hang- because guess what putting that many people in one place that's a security risk the exactly. city doesn't let that fly by because hey man we want our citizens to have a nice clean well, hang on a minute guys something that i want to get at here one question to um and on the hypothetical track to host an event like a concert, like he's done in the past, wouldn't you need a permit for that too? Yes, you would. So how the hell has this kid for four years hosting these concerts and events he was able to get away with, and yet he somehow fumbled in trying to host and trying to secure the venue for Tanacon? <laughs> Angel. Yes. Give him the answer. Here's the answer. He didn't. His company has had an incredibly spotty record reputation from the moment it was made. Every single event he's done has most likely been either a relatively small one or something just not worth your notice. This is the first time I think that company has ever overtaken anything involving this large number of people. Fucking hell! Then you know what? I shouldn't hope any uh, any uh, I shouldn't they, hope any shred of self respect left in that guy. There is He's, biting more than you can chew, and then there is I'm going to wrench my jaw ninety degrees to shove this subway down my throat. Well, if he was any of the smart businessman as he prides himself to be, he should have backed the fuck away. But he no. was doing something important though. He was taking segway lessons. Have you seen Dude, those segway skills? Don't even go Dude, there. The, the fast and the segwayers. The point that I'm trying to get is that, okay, with that kind of a spotty reputation for his company, <laughs> then, yeah, let's not, let's, not have to, let's, not, let's not hope for the best from this guy. He is a, I don't think he has any intention in, bring, uh, in giving back the money, and he is intent, that also means that he is intending to breach the contract. No, there is no contract. As far as, oh, no, as far as Veeps go. Okay, There's a napkin this, with some words written on it. Now... Some late breaking uh, news that I found over here. Thanks to once again Shane Dawson. Mm-hmm. Apparently, Veeps has started setting up a a system for claiming a refund for this event. Oh, oh well, that's so. Good. I'm guessing they worked something out between <laughs> themselves in good times. But you can guarantee that there won't be a single person who has heard of this uh, travesty who will want to work with either Good Times. or... Or Tana Mojo in a professional level like this again. Also, now, unwittingly, they have harmed the camp of individual cons. People will not go to any con right now that doesn't have a good reputation or history behind it. They can't risk it anymore. So go fucking figure. And they can't. And you can imagine that this would be the kind of issue that this kid Tana Mojo would take. Okay, this is a lesson learned. I know what not to do now. I'm going to try and move forward with my brand, with my YouTubing, and try and put this behind me after I get everything done. But let's not forget that this ridiculous algorithm of the medium that we love and loathe at the same time, which is YouTube, YouTube. favors this kind of shit. It draws people towards drama. As much as the people 
who own and operate YouTube try to gentrify and polish and scrub clean that YouTube is this multimedia entertainment performance platform or whatever other corporate bullshit that they want to call it so that they can attract <laughs> advertisers, so that they can attract money into their company. And you know what attracts but money f- and attention? Controversy. Eric Bischoff, the man behind WCW, and at, 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 he yeah, said it best. Pi- controversy creates cash. Controversy creates cash. And he's right. And, and we hate that. Like, you, the, you, the, we were having this argument here, and I was, and I am pissed the fuck off. I hate that. We that everyone who comes onto YouTube is drawn to this drama, is drawn to oh bitter fighting of oh this person said this to me when when like because people who generate uh, who pr- uh, who produce that kind of content for all the viewers to see they I'm I'm an, I'm I'm sorry I have no uh, no curve they are messed up in the head they have messed up lives messed up priorities they have nothing else better to do with their lives so they find an outlet for their emotional outcry case in point bringing up drama bringing up gossip on social media to attract as many likes and subscribers and reposts as possible. That's how it is, man. It's a fucking travesty, man. And and you know how the nature of humanity is conflict. And also, you know the laws. Uh, you know the law. Uh, the natural law of attraction. What's that? You know, you're attracting negative. You know, you attract negativity with negativity. Man. Exactly. People seek conflict one way or another. What was the worst of, uh, of division? Our power invites conflict. Yep. YouTubers power. have a lot of power, dude. They have influence over a lot of viewers. <laughs> and more importantly, though, I don't. I believe that we're not looking at the meat of the issue. And the reason why people are not going to forget this is. Because people were affected by this. Let me put it this way, Juan. Yeah. I love me some Charles and Freud. Schadenfreude. You Schadenfreude. Mean. The suffering of other people, that is like my emotional boner right there. I'm not going to lie. That, I don't know if that makes me a, an evil person because I myself do no, I do no harm and I do no evil. But I digress. The point is, this is not just Tana making bad choices, Michael making worse choices and everything fucking up. No, 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 no. That would be just comedy. This is Tana makes bad choices... Michael follows up with bad choices, and 5,000 other innocent people get completely fucked because of it. And those and people are not going to forget. Fucking bites us and in every head. single one of those people is going to spread the word about how much of a horrible experience they have. And those people that they spread the word to will spread the word. And this word will spread, and it's spreading as we speak right now. It's like a goddamn parasite. It's a and, they have, and they have a right to because they, they got have the fucked right to over. Because they got hurt. But I'm talking about people, people got hurt. And I'm not talking about just the emotional pain of, oh man, my favorite YouTube started me down. I'm talking about my I'm... skin is flaking off and I can see my muscle fibers through my chest. I yeah. think the point that Juan was trying to get it is that people like Tana, who makes a living off of producing video uh, controversial videos like drama and all like that how stuff. the fuck is the, like those kind of people? Oh yeah, no. But even then, the, even then, the controversy itself like, I, is just dumb, harmless entertainment because it's nothing but that. She's like, not exactly committing a crime. Is she? The, no, she's not. But like, this is the thing that chaps my ass is that we've been racking our heads here. Trying to figure out how to scrape up to the t- uh, to people's attention <laughs> on YouTube, dude. Don't laugh. I'm trying to say something serious over here. Go man. ahead. Go ahead. We've been at this shit for six years as the Ravens flock because they started this thing off. He started it up on Facebook, and then um, we migrated everything over to YouTube. We built it up from there. We built it up for six years. We have 142 subscribers as Thanks, of right guys. now. Woohoo! Then we want to thank you all, each and every one of you, for watching. You guys are us. great, absolutely. And of course, during, but, during the course of the six years, I'll admit that in, in, in most of the decisions, I overestimated myself. The, 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 but and what and what do we produce? We produce the our, our stick is basically it's half journalism, half entertainment, you know, all truth basically we talk about shit that's relevant in the con community we talk about shit that's relative in geek culture we try and entertain everybody with our little skits and with our uh you know bombastic personalities and shit we bring in other uh, other teammates who add different elements to our shows and we try to, uh, to provide a service this kid fucking racks up drama she's got 3.6 million subscribers yep now, now, I'm not trying to say, like, oh, what was me? We're not popular. But, like, why are we rewarding this bullshit? Because people love conflict. And these <sighs> people have... Also, uh, Angel, 
these people also have no self respect. Also, they are mostly not necessarily. Young, also, they are mostly young teenagers, dude. You think they honestly care that much about what happens in a con? Oh, and more importantly, her tits are way nicer than ours. Uh, true. Like, like, dude, you can't dude, beat that. It's dude. Let's it's let's, basic let's human not nature. Get, let's not get sexist, but I'm oh, not no, gonna lie. Oh no, it has nothing to do with sexism. I, it's basic human nature. I mean, Juan, you have an impressive set of man boobs, but they just don't compare. No, they're not. And I, Regardless I of the matter, I personally, ugly. as a man who doesn't care much about fame, that's the deal, dude. It's just good old fashioned conflict, and more importantly, is the simplicity of the conflict. Let me put it this way: go to Twitch. Anybody, just go to Twitch and look at the highest streams right now. Do you know what they're playing right now? Fortnite. Fortnite and PUBG. PUBG and, PUBG. and Fortnite. Everybody and their mother is playing that shit. It's a, barely, it's a fairly simplistic game. It's a big fucking arena. Drop a shit ton of players. The one who is last standing wins. Why do people love it so much? Because there is no artificial intelligence. There is just human intelligence. There's no AI in these games. Human just, intelligence, he says. A, no, not, that's the best part. It's just the height of human stupidity Thank in you. an arena for everybody to kill each other with. Congratulations. Combine you. that with some pretty girl playing that shit with massive tits. Add some more points if she manages to play well. Dude, formula for success. Oh, man. I you can't. know how the Marvel movies can do the same thing over and over again, but we and still go watch them because they do it well? Same thing. Ugh. Meat and potatoes. It's a basic food. But what if the meat is really good and the potatoes are really tasty? Are you going to say no to meat and potatoes, one? I'm not going to say no to meat and potatoes. Oh, my God. It's going to happen. Like, I'm hey, man, we're different from these people. Just because they racked up a whole bunch of subscribers, like, putting out uh, ridiculous videos of drama and controversy and shit, that doesn't mean we have to do the same. No, we need to go even further beyond. We need to just start, start making crimes. Just the next, the next Raven's Fog video is just going to be us breaking into a gas station with guns. Ain't, no, stop, stop it, Jose. God damn it. You're right, Joe. The Jose guns was are too expensive. Angel Let's use knives instead. Oh no, we're not going to use knives. Give me the cash or someone's the getting cut. The point that I'm trying to get stop. at is that, Juan, you're right. For six years now, we've been doing this shtick uh, uh, and we've been doing it well. We produce, we t discuss topics. We talk to people we bring in uh, other people onto our shows we produce content all our videos that we've done podcasts let's plays this and that everything we've been doing this for six years and although we don't have as many subscribers as this tana mojo bitch don't call her a bitch man her like she, she was she was on she, she was just stupid. as much as fault and i am disappointed at her and michael weiss well i'm standing by what, what we put up earlier over here as far as michael weiss goes his ass is worse oh, oh no, no, yeah. no 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 personally no. i'm gonna be like 49 percent of the fault is hers 51 percent of the fault is his see for real it's a small margin but i believe it needs to be mentioned the point is juan we've been getting a lot of, we've been getting good feedback on our content you're right you're right and it's all about quality over quantity. I hope so. Like, like for Christ's sake. And if I have to choose between whoring myself for subscribers by, and for money. And by producing cheap drama. By producing cheap drama. And producing the videos that we've been doing to, to seek the truth. To help, to help bring some sort, of, some sort of enlightenment. Some sort of hope to the con community. Between that and this. I'll choose what we've been doing this whole time any day. I hear you, man. It takes a strong man to stick up for his convictions. And when the truth is not convenient, then you just create your own, which is what's been happening lately. <laughs> that, that's just it. These, these kids are feeding off of their own truth. They're getting a feedback loop. Welcome to the echo chamber. Hope you enjoy your stay. We're going to validate literally every single thing that you say, and everybody who disagrees with you is a Nazi, sexist, or a rapist. God almighty. Tumblr Stop. has bled into YouTube. Oh my God! Tom Two, actually, Tumble Angel's you not blur. wrong. Oh my God! Well, Tumble no, no, we should just do that. Like, they can make a new YouTube, YouTube channel where it's just these people doing that and just call it Youbler. Google's on. Regardless, oh, look that up by the way when you get the chance, Angel. Google's on. I'll make sure That's to do so. with this shit. Right. Is. But ultimately, I think we should, yeah, I think we should wrap up this. Yeah, uh, discussion yeah. aside, this is just guys. In simple term, this is what happened. A very arrogant person got angry that they were not being given the time of the day. They decided to do their own thing. They got together with equally arrogant people that did not have the experience required to run that kind of business. Or resources. And when the bad things happen, one person ran off and the other one cried out. And that's all they've been doing. 
crying and running and crying and running. Meanwhile, the people that were actually affected by this event are left to lick their wounds and hope that they can find their money somewhere. And the consequences of this are going to be felt because this is just a small con that essentially just let us know that anytime somebody tries to start their own con, now we know what to watch out for. You know what this is to me? This is a lesson to what watch out for in the future. God almighty. I agree. I hope so. Like, now here's the thing. Uh, just to get us wrapped up, we've been around longer than most Florida conventions. We have outlasted other cons that have tried to tackle the big giants here in Florida. We were there at the beginning, and we, we'll be there at the end. We were there when we, we've we seen the splintering from MetroCon. You've had ShadowCon and ChaoticCon. When the Soviet wall them. came down, and, and all the We were there broke. when more conventions started sprouting out in 2014. Yeah, and there dying was the roughly boom. as quickly. Actually, yes. There was the big boom there in 2014. There was like, what was it? Um... Like anime apex, there was gonna be um, what? something evil con. Evil con. No, yeah, we we went to evil con. Came and we went. covered it. It was it was only one time, but it was fun and it was dumb fun. And like there was also like Players Voice Expo and uh, freaking FAE. That's now not even a con anymore. I don't remember half of these things from mentioning right now. Exactly. No. <laughs> um, there was like Bell Con. It was there for five minutes. And wow, I, shit. Like we have outlasted these conventions. You know what though? But. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I'm no, trying. Please, I'm trying to fucking ahead, finish. Ahead, ahead, I'm sorry. trying to say this. We've outlasted these conventions. We've been trying to cover this stuff, and we wanted to load up our schedule based on this. But like you mentioned, the, the, all these conventions they, that we tried to cover, some of them fell and collapsed under their own weight from their inability to secure a venue. Others still had fallen to their own controversy. People got too big for their own britches. Started shitting on the stairs. Yeah, that's for my real. favorite phrase. What do you do? He shot on the stairs. Damn it! And they and those conventions were closed in disgrace, basically. But there have also been uh, there, there have also been other cons. Like uh, there's a reason why to this day MetroCon's still around. Yeah, uh, it's had its share of controversies and stuff. The the fluke talk thing in 2009, which was fun, <laughs> horrible but fun. Um, there was also stuff about you know the change of management. We'll get to that another time. We're not going to cover that stuff. Correct. But yeah. there is also like the splintering of people going off and making ShadowCon and ChaoticCon because I think they, you mentioned that already. Yeah, but go on. and they were trying to like one up and topple Metro. It's not going to happen. Because they do because they did the same thing that Tana Mojo did. Lack of preparation. No, they started it out of spite. spite. Ah, there we go. The Lamborghini so, thing only happened one time. People don't like. There's a reason you don't try to recreate miracles. And that was uh, yeah, Lamborghini is a miracle, and Tanacon seriously a fucking tractor farmer. For real, Tanacon wasn't a miracle. Tanacon was a, sp- a glorified disaster. No, it, no, what it is that we need to take that as a learning experience. If you're going like number one, don't try to go head to head with the big monster. That's why mo- that's why the WWE won the Monday Night War. If you okay. have a churro stand, don't try to fight with Walmart. No. Just get in the corner, sell your merchandise, don't try to fight Walmart. Yo, like, there's some Walmarts that got churros uh, uh, shops inside, but there's another one by your place that's got a, uh, a, a food truck that sells just churros. Find your that place guy is and fine. your time. Yeah, yeah. Go so, on, go on. But, yeah, don't try to tackle the big dog. Take your time if you want to do it right. Read your fucking contracts, man. Read everything. Bring the big boy glasses for the fine print, please. Find a lawyer. Make it a business lawyer or an entertainment lawyer or some combination of the two. Have them read everything over. Make sure that whoever is saying they'll be responsible for it, that you hold them to it. And if you have a joint venture like this, set up a fucking LLC. It's only three hundred dollars. It's only or depending on like what state you live in, anywhere between three and five hundred dollars. I don't fucking know, but for kids who are burning sixty eight thousand dollars on security, literally burning sometimes. No, like like what do you call it? Good times spent sixty eight thousand dollars on security. That wasn't even half. They as got much like twenty one people for a sixty one thousand dollar budget. That's. The, those guys must have gotten rich. It's like, f- I bought a yacht. They only gave me a row. A, a paddle. Y- like he's talking about a yacht. But yeah. yeah. So Welcome to Shit Creek, by the way. <laughs> paddle it up. I have, a good, I have a good tip for running a convention. What? Don't. <laughs> no, if you seriously don't think that you have the means or the time 
to actually to actually uh, host an event like a like a con for two days or one day even, then don't do it. Well, to be fair though, Tara at the time something tells me she was not in the right state of mind to consider her limits. No, you're True. right. As Juan mentioned, she did it out of spite. Everything everything she did it was out of spite. Oh, and one more thing. What's up? Um, remember, no matter what happens, no matter what deals you make or what contracts you sign, when you put yourself as the public figure. The public will look to you when shit goes wrong. Exactly. You know how the president doesn't make all the decisions? But the president is the only one that gets to show up on TV. True. It's so called Tanacon, go- not Weisscon. So when shit goes bad, people are going to blame the president. Exactly. Whether he's responsible or not, it doesn't matter. He's the one you see on TV. When you make yourself the whole, the sole image of something... Her people- poster is her bursting out of a pink wall with aviator glasses yeah. going high. Guess that what? That means... When Her things go right or when things go wrong, people will turn to you and ask you how to fix it. Exactly. So you're not so wrong. Be, be aware of what your public image portrays because people people don't care about the, the little details of the or the subtleties that go on in the power plays and the behind the scenes. People care about what they see and perceive and they will dump their responsibilities and judgments on what they see and perceive. Reality be damned, we work with what we can judge and our eyes can only judge what we can see. You're right about that. And Angel. you know what they saw? They saw people burning to death in the middle of the street. Yeah. It, well, they didn't burn to death. They just burnt. Yeah, they just All burnt. Right. Go on, Juan. Thank you for that, Angel. That was that. That's fucking brilliant. Joseph, I'm giving you uh, your final words here. Well, I stand by for what I, I stand by what I said. I am equally. Di- I'm disappointed in both of them. I'm sorry. They both made uh, uh, horrible choices that has affected all, all the attendees that have waited outside. They've all lost their money. They're gonna get their money back, uh, 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 thanks to Ve- uh, thanks to Veeps. Thank goodness, whatever deal they worked out. But there's no I don't way. know if they, it, it, like. Here's the thing: the evidence that's shown in the part third part of Shane's uh, interview with both Tana Mojo and Michael Weiss. The fact that it ended like that the, that it ended with the two of them bickering at each other, pointing blames at each other, basically saying, "Oh, you betrayed me. No, you betrayed me." I don't think they're going to I don't think they're going to grow out of this not anytime soon. I think oh, I, no. either two things will happen. Best case scenario, they'll probably get over it in about another say 5 or 10 years. Give Worst take. case scenario, two years. Two years. Well, I'm uh, sorry, I'm not that ambitious. <laughs> Worst case scenario, they're not going to let it go. See, I think they're not because, or rather, I'm pretty sure they're not. You know why? Because they have YouTube channels, which means that they have an army of people telling them that they're right. Exactly. When you're surrounded by yes men, you will never make a responsible decision in your life. Exactly. That's why making decisions and making and, 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 and doing all these projects out of spite, out of anger, it doesn't always work. That's like that's not how we do it here in the Ravens flock. We don't do it out of spite or out of anger. No, we no we. That's why we came out with this shit. We did it a week after. city and boredom, which when you think about it, are really good motivators. <laughs> no, no, we came out with this shit uh, with a week after everyone else is covering it because you know that last week. After the third Shane Dawson video came out, people are reacting immediately. People are trying yeah. to put in their two cents right away, faster, right away, right? Faster, no, 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 no. Faster. But, Instantaneous gratification. Shut up, right now. Shut up, everybody. No, but fucking, what do you call it? What we what we did, we came out a week after Shane's video, and we put it out on our podcast, and we're gonna have it out on YouTube the uh, the, the Friday of this week, because that's how we you know fucking run our business. All right. Or uh, you know what? We might actually put it up uh, also on Monday as well. Who knows? I'm not sure. Who but, knows? We're coming at it as, uh, and I hope this makes sense, as dispassionately as we can. Yeah, we're we're loud and we're shouting and complaining at people and we're t- telling everyone our opinions, but we're not t- doing this just for shock value, unless you're Angel. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not doing it for a joke, but I'm just going for, ugh, I need a smoke. I don't have any to say this. Smoke. But, like, we're trying to come at this at, with, with... An objective view with a view of, like, let's cover this as a matter of journalism as it is, not as this bullshit. And trying to just whore off on YouTube vi- views on this. Because, like, as I said, you know, we're, I, I, I'm, I am mournful of the fact that this drama rakes people millions of views while the work that we do 
doesn't get the time of day. The YouTube algorithm does not like the Ravens flock from what I can tell. But when we cover shit, we're doing it as close to journalistically as we can. Because we're not we're not the fucking news, but we are trying to be like the news of the con world. We're certainly more reliable than the news. Well, I hope so. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey man, compare me to any edition of the Fox News. You'll notice that we actually have Slightly less biased yo, than they do. Yo, I I could start talking shit about some former members, but I'm then they would be more no, reliable. No, no, because that's that's, that's There's, a, exactly. There's yeah. a reason they're not here anymore. Of course, this doesn't mean that we're a bunch of we robots. I mean, if we we didn't kill them, they're off. Angel, the... shut up. Dead to me. Oh my okay, god. Okay, that you could say, but we didn't kill anyone. No one's dead. Nobody's dead. God damn it, Angel. I right, seriously I'm do trying to wrap this up here, Jose. And I'm trying uh, to help you, but no, you're not. You just, all right, Angel, you're oh, done. Trust Jose. me, I'm done. Here's my mic. Anyways. Jose, you're, Jose drop your mic. Yeah, you're, no. Come on, we're, we're done. What, what, are you, what else are you going to say? Like, we've covered everything here. I was going to say, that doesn't mean that we're robots, because if we're not being truthful uh, uh, about uh, the things we say on the Raven's Flock, then we're basically lying to all, everyone who's listening in and everyone who's watching us. You're, you're right. Go ahead. Drop your mic. You're done. I'm, you know, Angel is done. Jose is done. I'm just about done here. Um, and that's and that's it. Um, that has been um, that has been our episode of the of the Black Files, uh, recapping uh, the Tanacon controversy. I want to thank Jose Casabona and Angel Mendez, the heads of the Ravens Flock, uh, for joining me here. And we hope that you uh, continue tuning in to us on SoundCloud and iTunes. Give us a like, thumbs up, rate, review, subscribe. Give us the delicious algorithm. Make us count somewhere. Download us, whether legally or illegally. I don't give a fuck. Um, and um, like I mentioned earlier, next week, you will see if you're in Tampa, Florida, and if you're attending MetroCon uh, at the Tampa Convention Center, uh, July uh, 19th through the 19th through the 22nd, you will see the entire crew of the Ravens Flock for the first time all year in our entirety at MetroCon. Where you can come and see us at uh, the panel we're going to host, and uh, and we're also announced that we're uh, co-sponsoring a video game tournament for uh, the convention, playing Dragon Ball Fighter Z or whatever. Uh, so all the details are going to be on our social media links, which I'm going to give to you now. So continue to follow us on Facebook.com slash The Ravens Flock, Twitter.com slash Ravens Flock 13, Instagram.com slash The Ravens Flock online, Patreon.com slash The Ravens Flock. Follow us and donate to us for as little as a dollar a month and gain early access to all our programming and subscribe to us and hit the notification bell on YouTube.com slash The Ravens Flock, home of Los Amigos Play. The Black Files and our main show, The Ravens Flock. Uh, I want to thank you all very much for listening in. Sorry about my griping of, uh, oh, we don't have enough views. Maybe you can change that. Uh, this has been the uncensored interview review and review podcast of The Ravens Flock. This has been The Black Files, and we are 